Hi, my name is Anna White and I'm here today to tell you that if you can dream up a unique storage solution, you can build it. In this video, I'm going to show you how I took this open-ended kitchen island and added this storage end to it. Now this solution could work just about anywhere in your house. You may remember a few years back when we built this kitchen island. We love it with the ability to put stools on three different sides and the range on the far end. But I wanted to add a little bit more storage and I wanted it custom sized and custom painted to be an exact match. So I took some dimensions and got building. First, design. I'm using my Shelf Help Configurator, which is a free tool that you can use to get all of your cuts just right. You can also order the plywood pieces pre-cut with the front edges finished, so you can just go directly to assembly without having to cut all the pieces. Here's my pieces for this bookshelf. I use a Craig pocket hole jig to drill pocket holes and then assemble with one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. In the places that you need support but you don't necessarily need plywood, I add one by threes to create that extra support. Since the bottom shelf span was more than three feet, I'm adding a divider to create some additional structure now to put a back on it. So I'm gonna cut my quarter inch plywood right on my garage floor. Craig just came out with this new tool that is a, it's basically a straight edge that kind of self clamps in place and you just run your circular saw right down the side of it. So notice I block the plywood up and then position my straight edge and I can just go ahead and make that cut. This is a very good tool to have in your shop. Now for attaching the back. So I just lay the project face down and I mark all the location of shelves and divider and apply glue everywhere. The marks are on the sides of the project. So after I put the plywood on the back, I can still see those marks. And I'm just gonna go ahead and nail off around the edges using the plywood to kind of square up the cabinet. And then I'll take those marks I made and transfer them to the back of the plywood and then use a straight edge to connect between the marks so I know where to put my nails. It's the little tricks like this that make woodworking much easier. Now for paint, I'm just gonna go ahead and brush this on because it was really windy today and I couldn't use my sprayer. So I just brushed on two coats. I do do a really light sanding in between coats for that super smooth look. So this is really just a bookshelf that slid underneath this island. We can reconfigure it in different directions, place it in the center. Um, there's still room and plenty of a lip here to sit a stool out. It really was that perfect custom solution. So I've left the link in the description for the template if you want to build a bookshelf like this to fit your custom needs. Thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please take a second to subscribe and turn on notifications. And please send in photos if you build something. Thanks again.